this is Dave for That's Us Gaming and welcome to Dave's Ramblings, where I basically talk your ear off about things I find interesting. Now, Paladins. I've spoken about it before. It's a hero shooter that has had constant jokes thrown at it for being free Overwatch or just another Overwatch clone. When, to be perfectly honest with you, I actually think it's the superior game, really. This doesn't mean that it's without its flaws, though, and today I wanted to talk about a few of them. Now, the game currently has an event called Dark Tides, which I had no idea how to play, because they don't really explain it all that well, and previous games had their own playlist queue for it, which was quite easy. Just went on, click, play, done. So I had to do a quick Google search about it and to be honest with you I was quite happy doing this because it showed me that I wasn't the only one having trouble. Nice. But basically how it works shot. is yeah, during a good. casual playlist game, which is a, an unranked game, a sort of mini boss will sometimes appear and these are I think Fernando, um, Vivian, uh, there's someone else but basically Attack. they in sort of ghost pirate clothing, Three, like they're, they're two, special outfits one. which match the and Dark Tides so theme, uh, which is all tied in with the new character, Dredge, who is a ghost pirate and is actually really fucking good. I did really well with him. But anyway, if you defeat them, you gain a Dark Doubloon. And I was like, oh, brilliant. And you spend these Dark Doubloons in the store. And this was quite fun, and I, I did manage to bag a few doubloons, so I thought, I know, I'll go and spend them. So I went into the store, and I thought, oh, well, I'll just buy a spray, because that was all I could afford. It was 15 doubloons. And to my surprise, it was locked. And I thought, oh, right, okay, well, I've got 15 doubloons, what's going on here? And then in tiny writing at the bottom, it says, Artifact Required buy a bundle to unlock an artifact and I just could not believe what I was reading. I mean they've turned this fun Halloween event into some debaucherous cash grab. Now I know that they do obviously use these events to generate a bit more income and stuff like that but this is disgusting. I mean, speaking of the, the Switch version, which is what I've been playing on, they charge 500 crystals a bundle, but they sell crystals in batches of 200, 400, and then 800, and then it goes up from there. And the minimum price you are looking for to pay for a bundle is £11.18 pence and that's for a 400 and a 200 crystal pack. I mean, similarly, they charge 600 crystals for a battle pass, and again, they don't sell a 600 bit, you know, so they're probably doing it in hopes that you will shell out for an 800 crystal thing instead of a 400 and a 200. And the most you can earn from the battle pass itself is 150 crystals. I mean, but that's reliant on you getting to level 75. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I, I bang on about Fortnite and uh, the fact that I don't like it, but... Dear sweet Christ, at least you can just buy stuff on there, you know what I mean? I mean, okay, things do change up, and if you don't get it at a certain price, it might go up, etc. But it's nothing as bad as this. I mean, that just seems just seems genuinely underhanded to just force you to spend even more money. I mean, like I said, £11 on a bundle, and really it's just a bloody skin and something like that, but you have to buy that bundle in order to buy things with your doubloons that you have just saved up and earned yourself. That's awful. That is so, so wrong. I mean, the, the game throws gold at you literally just throws gold at you but it, it's effectively useless i haven't really found much to spend it on just a couple of skins and even then some of those skins are just maybe a slightly different color there's not much difference between them i mean they need to really rectify things like that 
I, I brought a founder's pack for the Switch, and I was supposed to have Radiant Chest keys, which is Radiant Chest with their loot boxes. But they scrapped the Radiant Chest just, that I, just as I bought it. So I was left with, apparently, loads of gold. That's what they, they did. They swapped the keys for more gold. So I'm effectively fucking Smaug the Dragon right now. I'm just sat on a fucking hoard of gold with nothing to do. I mean, and, and also, I say they got rid of Radiant Chests. That's not to say that they got rid of loot boxes altogether. In fact, right now they have the Gold Chest the diamond chest, the wrecked weapons chest, the deep space chest, and the little box of horrors. And, unlike the previous updates, they've also stopped you from using gold to buy the cheapest uh, loot box. So again, gold is absolutely fuck all, and it's all about crystals. And the prices on these boxes, they range from 75 I think is the lowest one, all the way up to 300. You know, I mean, I think the game is great. Characters are memorable, the gameplay is great, and the competitive esports scene is genuinely entertaining. I absolutely love it. But just the endless monetization is just killing my enjoyment. Now, I understand the game is free, but if you're making a profit, just pass it along, guys, you know? The whole game right now is a mess of shops and adverts for things to buy. I mean, a bit of streamlining would go a long way both in terms of pleasing fans and gaining more users. Now, I know high res will never watch this video, but just on the off chance they do, please, high res try and organise your game. Don't be afraid to give back to the fans. I want to support you, but... Hiding everything behind a, a premium paywall is just tiring and it really needs to change. It really does. It's, it's a, as I say, it's just, it's a bit too much. I'm not asking for much. I'll, I'll pay, I'll use gold for some of the lesser skins, not just, not just the chains. I mean, the barrack foreman outfit. I thought, oh wow, I can I can buy that. I've got so much fucking gold. I'll, I can splash out on that, and I can't see a difference at all. So yeah, that was all I wanted to say. Again, um, I am enjoying the the Dark Tides uh, theme. I think I really think it's great. I I think Dredge is a fantastic character. Um, I, to be honest with you, I, all the characters that they brought out, I think they are. Apart from Furia, I haven't really warm to fury but i just i think all the characters that they've brought out other than that one they've, they've got a lot of imagination personality and yeah i just hope that they come to their senses and just maybe start opening up more things for people to unlock but anyway thank you very much for listening and i will see you soon bye